Look, here at the Canadian Taxpayers uh, Federation, we like to help folks out. Down at City Hall, uh, they've got a big project cooking. They're spending millions of dollars to renovate the building. And then look, if the wiring needs to get replaced or whatever, hey, uh, make sure folks are safe. But they're also spending a lot of money to, uh, to renovate the cafeteria. And apparently, the City Hall is a little bit worried that folks that are working there uh, won't have anywhere to eat unless they renovate the cafeteria. If only in downtown Regina, there were somewhere where folks at City Hall could eat. Here at the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, we're here to help. We got some nachos here, right here from uh, from O'Hanlon's. The, the nachos were bigger when they came. I've been, um, I got hungry. They're about three blocks from City Hall. Got the mayor, a gift card to O'Hanlon's. Drop by here. We care about you. We want to make sure you're well fed. But maybe nachos aren't your thing. I don't get it. Don't worry. About 200 steps from the door of City Hall is a, uh, a very fine Chinese restaurant. I was there just last week. Try it out on us. Give it a whirl. Save some taxpayers money. About 84 steps from the door at City Hall, there's a fine little coffee shop. Fine little coffee shop called Fresh and Sweet. 84 steps from the door of City Hall. I don't mean to use strong language here, but I actually think a Blue Bombers quarterback could throw a ball from the doors of City Hall to fresh and sweet. It's strong language. I don't mean to invoke the dirty Blue Bombers uh, lightly here, but Mr. Mayor, we've, we've got you a gift certificate here. Just, just try it out. Here's the bottom line. City Hall doesn't need to be spending a lot of money to renovate its cafeteria. There are about a hundred places to eat within easy walking distance of City Hall. And further to that, why in the world would City Hall want to compete with local entrepreneurs? Do they have any idea how hard it is to start and run a restaurant? Those folks take incredible risks. They work incredible hours to make sure that we got fine nachos like these. Why in the world should they have to compete with their own tax dollars? especially when you're raising taxes. You're raising taxes because you're worried about paying for stuff like renovating your cafeteria when you don't need to. There's a hundred places you can eat. Go eat there. We're having a little bit of fun with you. We're sending you these gift certificates. We're trying to be nice and we're trying to be funny, but we really do want you to think a little bit harder about the money you're spending at City Hall. Think of other solutions. Think about trying out some of the great restaurants around Regina. And don't compete with, uh, with local businesses, local entrepreneurs, and don't spend our tax money unless we absolutely need it. But in the meantime, enjoy some meals on us.